My name is Connor Joyce, and today I'm going to be presenting my honors thesis. Uh, throughout the, the last year, my mentor and advisor for my research has been Professor Alexander Illier, and the title of my thesis is The Mediating Role of Trade Anger in the Relationship Between, counterproductive, in, in the relationship between Workplace Stressors and Counterproductive Work Behaviors. So before I dive in, I'd like to ask you to think of the last time that you had uh, an assignment given to you to be completed. You had two options. You can either engage in that assignment and complete it, or you can engage in some other behaviors and not complete it. What my research is, was intended to help discover is what are individual differences that allow an individual to engage in one of these behaviors. I base my research on the stressor emo emotion model. I'm gonna uh, define a couple of terms and then I'll explain the process. So first, environmental stressors or any stimuli in the environment of the workplace that, it, that uh, can be perceived as a stressor. Perceived stressors are when an individual sees an environmental stressor, appraises it, and determines it to be a stressor. Negative emotions include anger, fear, sadness, depression. And counterproductive work behaviors are any behaviors that an employee engages in that are intended to hurt an organization or its members. So this model starts with an environmental stressor. It's perceived by an employee as a stressor through the appraisal process, which leads to negative emotions and then can lead to counterproductive work behaviors. This, this model is also moderated and mediated by perceived control and personality. So for my, my research, I had two workplace stressors. The first one was procedural justice, which is the feeling of equality that an employee feels in the workplace and then interpersonal conflict, which overtly is exhibited through, inter through workers arguing with each other or fighting, and is exhibited covertly through employees spreading rumors about each other or, or other forms of behavior such as that. My mediating variable was trade anger, which is the, the frequency of intense negative and, and angry feelings that an individual has, and this can be broken down into angry temperament and angry reaction. Angry temperament, is when an individual reacts angry to any stimuli, any neutral stimuli, and, and angry reaction is the level of intense angry feelings that an individual has in response to a negative stimulus. So previous research suggests that personality mediates and moderates the stressor emotion model. Procedural justice and interpersonal conflict are workplace behaviors, are, are workplace stressors, and training or moderates the relationship between workplace stressors and counterproductive work behaviors. So that reason I had two hypotheses. Hypothesis one was trade anger will mediate the relationship between interpersonal conflict and counterproductive work behaviors. And hypothesis two was trade anger will mediate the relationship between procedural justice and counterproductive work behaviors. So for the data that I used for this research was archival data. It was collected for a journal, for a journal article that was published in the Journal of Applied Psychology. Originally, 300 surveys were sent out and 203 surveys were, re were received with usable data. And they were collected from two Romanian manufacturing organizations. Four different surveys were sent out with, within these samples. For counterproductive work behaviors, a 25-item version of the CWB checklist was used. For trade anger, a 10-item trade anger scale was used. Interpersonal conflict, a four item interpersonal conflict at work scale was used. And finally, procedural justice, Mormon's 12 item procedural justice scale was used. So then it came time to actually running the results. I used a Sobel Z test to test the mediating effect. I started by running all the correlations, which proved significant. I then moved to the Sobel Z's test, which, which also uh, came out with a um, significant result of 2.02 thus suggesting that trade anger does mediate the relationship between interpersonal conflict and counterproductive work behaviors. I did the same procedure for hypothesis two. All the correlations proved to be significant. I then ran the Sobel Z's test, which proved a Z-score of uh, negative 2.06 that was also significant, thus suggesting that trade anger does mediate the relationship between pr procedural justice and counterproductive work behaviors. So what does this mean? This means that organizations have to try to minimize the stressors at, in their environments. A couple of examples of how to do this would be training managers on how to mediate conflict, thus lowering interpersonal conflict, 
and trying to t train managers to create an equal environment for all of their employees, thus increasing perceived procedural justice. One other way to, to try to lower workplace stressors would be to develop and enforce strict rules that once again in, it cause a equal environment and uh, lower those interpersonal, con the interpersonal conflict. This research had a couple of limit limitations. Uh, it used a cross-sectional design so we could not infer it, uh, causality. It also, the data that was collected, it did not split the CWBs into CWB organizational and CWB personal, which is uh, frequently what is, is done in research nowadays. And lastly, there was a restrictive sample size. It had uh, a specific industry, the manufacturing industry, specific country, was, uh, conducted in Romania, so the generalizability was very limited. So for future, future research, I recommend a bootstrap design in the, the half of a year that it took me to learn how to, to run a media, to, to learn what a mediating variable was and how to run a Sobel Z's test. I didn't have the opportunity to learn bootstrapping, so I recommend fu future research uses bootstrapping. Um, experimental and longitudinal design should be used in the future so that the data can infer um, a, a causality. And um, more job stressors should be studied and this only had two of them, so more should be studied. And then lastly, um, you know, trade anger, trade anxiety, negative affectivity, there's a lot of research on these personality traits in this field, but I believe that more personality traits should be studied. So with that being said, I appreciate your guys' time and I'm happy to answer any questions.